myself O O P Krishnan, Ashtam Professor, Department of Bcom C A K S R Women's College. In this session, I am going to discuss with you about income tax. So first of all, what is tax? Tax is a financial charge imposed on general public by the central government. So it is a compulsory payment. Tax is not a voluntary payment or donation. In our India, in our India, in the world, everyone wants to escape from tax. No one is ready to pay tax. So tax is a compulsory charge, financial charge imposed on general public by the central government. Indian tax system is the largest tax system in the world because it includes huge number of persons. So a simple meaning regarding tax. So, tax nothing but it is a financial charge imposed on the general public by the central government. The next one is types of tax. Basically, there are two types of tax. One is called as direct tax. Another is called as indirect tax. There are two types of taxes. One is called as direct tax. Another is called as indirect tax. First of all, what is direct tax? Direct tax is nothing but an amount of tax paid by the person to the government directly. There is no any intermediaries. The amount of tax paid by the assessee or person to the government directly. That means I am paying my tax in my own pocket. That is called as direct tax. The examples of direct taxes are income tax, then wealth tax. There are two examples for direct tax. One is called as income tax and one is called as wealth tax. Why income tax is called as direct tax? Because I know my tax limit. If I earn this much, I need to pay this much of tax. So I know my tax limit. That is called as direct tax. The second one is called as indirect tax. What is indirect tax? The amount of tax paid by one person to another person. That person can collect the entire amount of tax pays to the government. There is an intermediary. The amount of tax transferred from one person to another person then goes to government. That is called as indirect tax. That means I am paying tax without knowing how much I am paying the amount of tax. For example, if we purchase any goods, any product, the price includes all taxes. We don't know the quantum of tax. And like another example, if you go to the cinema or any entertainment, that cinema ticket cost includes entertainment tax. We don't know the amount of entertainment tax, but we are paying. So indirectly we are paying tax. That is called as indirect tax. The examples of indirect taxes are GST. Everyone knows GST. What is GST? Goods and services tax. And what is sales tax? Then custom tax. So these are the examples of indirect taxes. So there are two types of taxes. One is called as direct tax. Another one is called as indirect tax. So in this session, my topic income tax comes under direct tax. So this is a very simple intro regarding tax structure in our India. Then we go for income tax. What is income tax? What is income tax? Very simple. Tax on income means income tax. Yes, tax on income, profit, gains earned by the person during the particular period. That is called as income tax. Everyone is earning money. So those who are earning, they need to pay tax to the government. So tax on income is called as income tax. The term income tax was introduced by the British rulers in, the, in our India in the year 1860. So they are the they 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 people who introduced income tax to our India in the year 1860. And we got the very first income tax act in the year 1886. 1886. But at present we are following income tax act 1961. 1961 income tax act. The income tax act 1961 consists of two other important elements. One is called as Income Tax Rules 1962. Another one is called as Finance Act. So, 
the income tax at 1961 consists of two other elements. One is called as income tax rules 1962, another one is called as finance act. What do you mean by income tax rules 1962? Yes, in this rules, the different types of rules, procedures framed to support the income tax act. That is called as income tax rules. The rule makers are called as CBDT. It is called as CBDT. CBDT is the sole authority in our India to frame rules and procedures for income tax. CBDT means Central Board of Direct Taxes. Central Board of Direct Taxes. It is the sole authority for controlling all the activities of Income Tax Department. That is called as Income Tax Rules. The other one is called as Finance Act. Every year, the government of India makes some changes, some amendments in the income tax by passing some resolutions in the Finance Act. So, these two are supporting government the Income Tax Act 1961. It's a very simple intro regarding income tax. So, the term income tax means tax on income. Tax on income, profits, gain earned by the person during the particular period that is called as income tax. Next, we go for some basic definitions of income tax. Let's see one by one. The first one, Assessi. Who is called Assessi? Assessi means a person, one who pay tax. He is called as Assessi. Assessi means a person, one who Paying tax is called as assessi. In other words, whose income is assessed for tax is called as assessi. There are three types of assessi, namely, one is called as ordinary assessi, second one, representative assessi, third one, assessi in default. Assessi in default. There are three types of assessi. One is called as ordinary assessi, second is called as representative assessi, third one is called as assessi in default. Who is called as ordinary assessi? All the persons, those who are paying tax, he is called as ordinary assessi. If I am paying tax, I am called as ordinary assessi. Then who is called as a representative assessi? The representative assessis are the persons paying tax on others' income also. Example. Guardians of minor, guardians of guardians of magnetics. Uh, so they are representing other persons. They are called as representative assessees. See, ordinary assessee means I am paying tax on my own income only. I am called as ordinary assessee. Representative assessee means the persons those who are paying tax on others' income also. They are called as representative assessee. The last one. Assessi in default. Who is called Assessi in default? Very simple. The person one who fails to fulfill the obligations, legal obligations. They are called as Assessi in default. If I am earning money, I need to pay tax. If I fail to fulfill, if I fail to pay the tax, I am called as Assessi in default. So this is called as the first definition Assessi. So the term Assessi means a person one who paying tax or a person whose income is assessed for tax he is called as assessee. The very first definition. The second definition person. Normally person means human. Is a male or a female. But according to income tax definition, the term person includes seven types of persons. Who are all they? Number one, individual. Individual, the first type of person. Individual means Mr. X, Mr. Y, Mrs. Y, Ram, Musum, they are called as individual persons. Number two, HUF. HUF means Hindu undivided family. In this HUF, Karta is called as a leader of the family, a second type of person. Third one, your firm. 
A firm means partnership firm. Partnership firm. Fourth, a company. Company, you know, Reliance, Tata. There are a lot of companies in India, the company. Then the fifth one. AOP. AOP means Association of Persons. Association of Persons. What is it called a AOP? A group of persons combined together to achieve some common goal. They are called as association of persons. People are associated to complete a common task. They are called as AOP. Next one. Local authority. Local authority. You know corporations panjai they are called as local authority. Then next one. Artificial person. It is called as artificial judicial persons. Like uh, uh, Reserve Bank of India, they are called as artificial uh, judicial persons. These are the types of persons. Number one, an individual, a HUF, a firm, a company, an AOP, local authority, an artificial judicial person. These are the different types of person comes under Income Tax Act. Generally, the term person means human being. But in the Income Tax, the term person includes several types of persons. Each and every person has a different set of rules in the Income Tax Department. The second definition called as person. Then you go for next definition. Income. What is income? An amount of revenue earned by the person during the particular period is called as income. Very simple meaning income. An amount of revenue, something earned by the person is called as income. The next definition is called as assessment year. Assessment year. What is assessment year? The year in which the income of the assessee is assessed for tax. That is called as assessment year. The year in which income of a person is assessed for tax. That is called as assessment year. In simple words, assessment year means tax paying year. The period begins with 1st April and ends with 31st March. The period of 12 months is called as assessment year. So it means tax paying year. The next one is previous year. Previous year. What is previous year? The year before the assessment year is called as previous year. Very simple words. Income earning year is called as previous year. It is also the period of 12 months starting from 1st April and ending on 31st March. Definition. Then the next definition GTI. What is GTI? Gross total income. Gross total income. What is gross total income? Total of all the five bits of income is called as gross total income. Total of all the five bits of income. What are the five bits of income? Number one. Income from salary. Number two, income from house property. Number three, income from business or profession. Number four, income from capital gain. And number five, income from other sources. Total of all these five bits of income is called as gross total income. Next one, total income. TI, in short, it is called as TI, total income. What is total income? Total income means income after allowing deductions. Income after allowing deductions. Very simple formula is there. Total income TI equal to gross total income minus 
reactions. Very simple formula. Gross total income means total of all the five years cycle. Just adding all the five. That is called as GTA. What is TI? Out of the GTI, we can deduct some deductions from ATC to ATU. So the remaining income after allowing deductions is called as total income. So these are the some basic definitions comes under income tax. Number one, assessi. Assessi means a person. Then person. The term person includes several types of persons. Number three, income. Number four, assessment year. Number five, previous year. Number six, gross total income. Number seven, total income. These are the few. Important definitions comes under income. Tax. There are a lot of definitions. These are very simple and very basic and important definitions comes under income tax. With this, the intro of income tax is over. Are you understand? Okay. Then we go for next topic is residential status. Residential status. residential status <coughs> see in the income tax tax is levied on the total income of the assessee based on total income tax is levied but the total income is depends upon the residential status of your person are you understand the tax is based on the total income the total income is based on the residential status now what is residential status very simple residential status of a person depends upon the territorial connections of a person with this country i repeat the residential status depends upon the territorial connections of a person with that country that means a person how many days Physically stayed in India or some other country. That is called as residential status. If I am born in India, I must stay some particular days then in India. That is called as residential status. It means territorial connections of a person with this country. That means a person how many days staying in India. That is called as residential status. So, based on the residential status, the tax will be levied. Tax will be levied. In this uh, residential status, there are three parts of residential status. A person, an assessee, can be classified into three types of residential status. One is called as ordinary resident. Number two, resident, but not ordinary resident. Number three, non-resident. <coughs> There are three types of residential status. One is called as Ordinary resident in short is called as OR. Number two, resident but not ordinary resident in short it is called as R B N O R. <coughs> Number three, non-resident in short it is called as non-resident OR. So there are three classifications of residential status: ordinary resident. Resident but not under resident and non-resident. Okay. How to find out whether whether the person belongs to this category or this category or this category? Yes. Based on the fulfilment of conditions, we can calculate the residential status of a person. 
based on the fulfillment of a condition we can find out the residential status of a person yes there are some conditions there are some conditions basic there are two conditions one is called as basic conditions another one is called as additional conditions number one basic conditions number two additional conditions let's see one by one what is basic conditions go for it Okay, of this. The first one. Basic conditions. Out of these basic conditions, the first one, A, he must be in India for a period of one eighty two days or more. Oh, 
called as basic conditions and understand then you go for additional conditions additional conditions okay of this number 2 additional conditions likewise basic conditions here also we have two conditions number 1 
Okay, that is the basic theme of income tax over. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching.